Hello and welcome back to another episode of Clowny Nerf. And as you can tell by the title, I received a box from one of my subscribers. Uh, I was looking for some bits and parts, namely the... Oops. <laughs> namely the uh, bipod from a long shot uh, for my Harkonnen, which I will place a link to in the uh, channel in my own video that I made. It's like one or two back, but I'll link it because it's easy. Uh, the box was sent me to a guy named, by the name of Dartbeard. No, I am not giving you his real name, but his name is Dartbeard because, honestly, it's just a really cool-ass cool ass handle. I kind of wish I would have thought of that myself, but mine was gifted to me. Uh, his was gifted to him. That's, that's odd. So, anyways, he sent me a box. Now, as you can see, this is much bigger than a long shot bipod, and it's a lot heavier, too, and it's got all kinds of really cool images on the outside of it. Like a dog thinking on a surfboard, heading towards some ants, thinking of fish being chopped into money by a guillotine. We've all had the dream, but I don't think any of us are actually going to realize it. You need to come back to Earth. It's just not going to happen. Headless giraffe smoking with deer. Because you got to stay with the cool kids all the time. And nothing's cooler than a headless giraffe smoking with a deer. We just have to conjecture that the giraffe is smoking because it's missing up top. That's where the addresses were. You're not getting that. <laughs> so we're going to open this thing up and see what's inside. Hopefully it's not full of dirty, filthy objects because it would be a horrible thing to go off on the channel that thing popped up with a bunch of filthy filthy things so we're gonna put it on my handy little walmart shelf here pull out my only knife i have within reach and go for it oh all the fun of an unboxing video my buddy griever does these all the time my whoo it is filled with all kinds of interesting stuff my favorite glow fvjs he gave me fvjs Glowing FVJs. Oh, uh, oh, uh, well, he can't see it because I'm holding the light. Awesome. FVJs from seller. And he listed the seller number. That, that's cool, man. Because, you know, it's like hard to get a good, <laughs> a good person to get these. And he lists the seller. I don't know exactly where to go back. That is freaking awesome. I thank you very much for that. As I kind of just throw it onto the ground. <laughs> Two more of each. Uh, I'll add these to the collection of my stuff. I really, really like the glow-in-the-dark idea. It'd be kind of cool if I managed to get a glow-in-the-dark tumbler for a uh, hammer shot. Which you see here. Not part of the box. But you can see, oh, it's black. Why is it black? Look at it. One, two, three, seven. That's right, seven cylinder. That's a view for a video later. What else do we have here? Oh, he's got a bunch of stuff. It's falling everywhere, and everything's got paper on it. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that's scary. Why is it a mystery can? Mystery can. This side down for fool. Oh, it's still kind of sealed. Okay, we will open that on video. I get a feeling I may regret opening that on video. <laughs> you do know children watch this channel, right, man? That's kind of gross. <laughs> and, oh, this tape is sticky. Ah, oh, I love these things. Yeah, if you did see the stuff for the trolling county things, I did give a whole bunch away. But, you know, I love, I love Tech Sixes. Uh, I have, I gave them a bunch of ones I have. I have a collection of them. But I can never get enough of them. I don't know why. I never even owned one as a kid. I had a Nerf slingshot. And I got a Tech 6. I love the Tech 6s. I just think Busby's been completely underrated. And their bare one knocks on their pistols and early stuff. It works. <laughs> it works. And it works consistently. Which is awesome. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay, so. Tech 6 with the mystery malfunction after a pin. Well, I can't read. Perfectly good handwriting. I just can't read. Pinata mod gone wrong. Normally, I just rob springs out of the Tech Sixes for triads, but a good pin 
Panada mod will strike part of wedding into fear and average number, including two extra cylinders, one with an AR removed. Oh. Oh, hey. Two extra cylinders. That's not the AR one. I didn't even see that. And the ARs are out of that one, which is pretty slick. They work great when thrown <laughs> as a pen holder. <laughs> also makes six shots of solvent. I cannot argue with that, that they would make excellent pen holders. And, uh, you know, well, you go for the trifecta, a pen holder and a dart holder and just glue them together like this. Alton Brown would probably love that. If you don't know who Alton Brown is, start watching Food Network. Okay. Ooh. Those look like, I know, those darts. Those are like those zoo. No, yeah, it's a Tech 3. <laughs> I actually needed another Tech 3 for a super secret special project I'm working on. Uh, now that I actually have another one, that's going to be badass. And these are those cool, I think, Zuru darts. Oh, wow. Never mind. Ha! I should talk first. This. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to zoom in then on the back half of this and show you guys why this Tech 3 is cool. So I'm not even going to mention it anymore. But I'm going to quick read this to myself because, you know, it's a spoiler. You know, and anybody that posted spoilers of Star Wars stuff on your friend page, I'm pretty sure he's either no longer your friend or dead. <laughs> And I will be reading that as the announcement. With, with that, it's hilarious. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Oh, and the piece de resistance, well, not really. I was not using that term properly. I guess I kind of was, but that's not exactly what I was going for. It is, oh, and it's cut so clean. So clean right off. I mean, there's not, I can level that on there so easily. Oh, and you put the screws back in it too. <laughs> I don't have to use my own screws. Yes. Ah, uh, that, that. Once I get it mounted up on here, that is going to look sweet. Oh, God, I can see it in the viewfinder. Oh, man. Dude, Dartbeard, you just have completely made my day with that. It was a really bad one. And uh, if we ever meet up to Nerf, I'll try not to shoot you with that, or at least from a from a prone position. I'll use it standing so I don't insult you by actually hitting you with the tripods that you included here. And another note top to this one. Oh, and it's got a really weird, it's got some kind of fixture. <laughs> Sorry for the sloppy cut. <laughs> straight anything I've ever done. Sometimes I make straight cuts, other times not so much. I'm assuming derp bowl. <laughs> That's, that's really cool. That's really cool. And, oh, there's candies. I see candies. I'm not sure. Idaho Spud. Idaho Spud. What is in an Idaho Spud? Zot. Zot. No way. I haven't had these things since I was a kid, man. Zots. I don't exactly remember what they were. I do know it'll ruin the flavor of the Idaho potato. I know they had like a, like a snap to them or a bite or a little kick in when you bit them. So, oh, I'm so terrified to open up the mystery can. I am going to open up the Idaho potato because honestly, I have never seen an Idaho spud that makes... The candy bar that made Idaho famous. I saw potatoes themselves made Idaho famous. But, you know, I've never... Oh, it looks like a... Well, it doesn't look like a spud. It kind of looks like... It kind of looks like an old dog turd that may have been sitting out in the lawn for a while. Still a little brown, maybe about a week old. But now I kind of don't want to eat it. <laughs> That's more appetizing than cold dog turd, huh? Nah. <laughs> well, good news is, it doesn't taste like cold dog turd. <laughs> it's a marshmallowy thing. 
I wish I could share it with you. Not really. <laughs> I only got one. That's really good. Mmm. Made in Boise, Idaho. Hmm. That's another YouTube high, watching me stuff my fat face and talk on camera. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> that's good. I'll have to find a source for some of those because that's a lot better. I usually get coconut things dipped in chocolate. It's a lot like that with a marshmallow center. So much better. I mean, just regular coconut squares. If you guys ever see these anywhere, get some. They are delicious. And, uh, oh, please don't tell me I have to eat what's in here. <laughs> I am so nervous. Yeah. Okay, we will keep this low. I'm not entirely sure what I'm opening here because I found a can full of dirt. Maybe I wasn't supposed to open it. <laughs> Seven seeds and dirt. Oh, organic basil seeds. Basil. Okay, cool. For a minute there, I was a little worried. I had some packages showing up that were, uh, <laughs> well, we <laughs> packages in the mail full of dirt. Uh, yeah, adult, adult content. Basically, it's a little thing of basil, and you stuff it in. This side down food. That's pretty cool. Can grow basil. I actually think I have like a wild spice growing outside my house. But where can I put that? That I'm not gonna kill it. Oh, let's do it on my wobbly fan. That's always a good spot. <laughs> and the last one, before we zoom in here, appears to be a big beefy spring. Maybe I should have done this in the uh, forward view. You're looking down. You know, a little bit better. Oh, and I am tearing. Up handwriting. Oh, I can hardly read my hardly read handwriting. You know, I was educated in Halifax. Oh, that, that's hey, that's like a full length K something. Now, twenty six K twenty six. Okay, these already in K twenty six. You use them as carpeting. You use them as carpeting. I figured well, you never know. You're absolutely right. You will never know when a K26 will come in handy. And uh, actually, it may come in handy a lot sooner than I think. Uh, <laughs> I look to be doing some upgrades uh, on back behind the curtain here on some stuff. And that, that little guy here. Yeah overpaid it needs a spring and I think a K26 will do it if not I know I can drop down my long shot and that thing has wanted love forever or one of my two quad shots because one of them misfires worse than the other which would be great so I can definitely use a full-size K26 spray oh that's so sweet oh well thank you very much dark beard and uh, before I go or anything like that we're going to uh, pull into the next view so you can check out the awesome, awesome Tech 3 that, oh, tape, the Tech 3 that's happening here. All right, so, zoom in time. Okay, we're back into this, whatever view it is, and I remembered it, and during the break, you know, I sat there and I munched on, you know, what was left of this thing again. Once again, it's just absolutely awesome, but I grabbed a Zot. And just for you kids out there, I don't know what they are. Uh, they are candies. And oh, this one's actually broke, so cool. 
I don't have to shatter it on TV or YouTubing. You can see they got that, but they're candy and they're hollow centers. Which are really good. They're filled with this powder. Like a bar bicarbonate powder. You put it in your mouth. And it fizzes. And I ate two or three of them. I made the mistake of drinking some soda with that too. So there's a good chance I may be burping a lot. <laughs> a quick little adjustment to the view. Okay. Now. Be warned. Tier 3. Tech 3 Blaster, top tier, is a highly modified blaster that can be propelling off of a dart of f the 5 feet. Eyes, hearing, groin protection should be worn at all times. And I don't know where I put my sunglasses, so we'll put these on. I do not have anything to stuff in my ears except for FVJs, and I'm not going to do that. And... Well, I'll just have to live wildly off the thing, off the off the third one. And this is not just with nerfing, so apparently when fired, brass barreled. <laughs> yeah, that's the first. And that double spring AR removed, dart post is removed, airports reamed to four point nine millimeter, optimized. I have never seen a brass barrel. Tech 3. We're going to pull the darts out here. And you can see for a fact that this is a brass barrel Tech 3. This is probably one of the weirdest things uh, I've ever seen. It still amazingly sounds just like a Tech 3. How he managed to keep the best part of that in there, I'm not sure. So we're going to do a quick little firing thing here. Off an amazing <laughs> he passed a tech three man <laughs> all the children in the world out there looking for brass you could have given that brass to Sally Struthers <laughs> it actually works <laughs> I'm amazed. this is one of the coolest the coolest mods I think I've ever ever seen and out of the two which I've got from subscribers being my buddy Griever I have to say this probably knocks his off, but as far as the performance goes, it's still a Tech 3. <laughs> I think I will be bringing this to every war I go to from now on. I'm just going to officially throw this in my bag, and this will be a blaster that goes with me to every war. That is <laughs> it's a Tech 3 with brass barrels. Oh, thank you, Dartbeard. And like I said, I will find a way to link your channel so they can show off the madman that you are. Which, <laughs> your mods, you had some pretty cool stuff going on with your XBZs and the XBZ, man. I, I dug that. But we'll get everybody else to see it because we'll send the link out. And if I don't, it's in my subscription box. Check it out up there. If you like stuff like that and the stuff that you see here, like this, go to Dartbeards. But if you like the stuff that I'm doing with Dartbeard things, hit that little like button that gives a nice little thumbs up. If you don't like it, hit a thumbs down. If you want to see what's going to happen next time I upload a video, hit the subscribe button. Hey, it makes it itself. All it does is pop up and you don't even have to worry about it. I do all the work. All you got to do is sit back and watch. Once again, this is your friend, Clowny, saying, if you can't sleep, Clowny's watching. Peace.